having difficulty in background noise has a lot to do with the root cause of most hearing losses, which is the deterioration of outer hair cells inside of your cochlea that's your hearing organ. These outer hair cells are responsible for taking the natural vibrations of sound as they enter your ear and amplifying them in order to trigger a neural response that travels up your auditory nerve to your brain. That's why we call these outer hair cells your natural ear amplifiers. These outer hair cells are extremely fragile, which makes them susceptible to damage due to things like age, noise exposure, chemical exposure, and head trauma, to name a few. When healthy, these outer hair cells are terrific at taking soft level sounds in your environment and amplifying them enough so you can hear them. But even if some of these outer hair cells are missing, the human brain is usually good at taking what information it does receive and piecing it together so you can understand what someone is telling you if you're in a quiet environment. However, these outer hair cells are also responsible for helping you hear better in background noise. Now bear with me here because I have to give you a little bit more of an in-depth anatomy and physiology lesson. Approximately 5% of the nerves that innervate these outer hair cells are called afferent nerves, meaning that they take information from the ear and send it up to the brain. The other 95% of these nerves are efferent nerves, meaning they receive information from the brain. So why would an outer hair cell be innervated by so many efferent nerves and so few afferent nerves? This is because your brain actually tells your ears which sounds to send up the auditory nerve and which sounds to suppress. In a normal hearing ear in a quiet environment, your brain tells your ears, yeah, go ahead and send all that speech information up. However, when you get into a background noise situation, the brain is sending signals down to the ear through these efferent nerve endings, telling your inner ear not to send up the noise information, but to send up the speech information. Now, when you have a hearing loss and you're in a quiet environment, your brain is still like, go ahead and just send up all the information, I'll piece it together, no problem. However, when you have a hearing loss due to the deterioration of these outer hair cells, your brain does not have the ability to send a signal down to your ears to tell Tell it to suppress the noise from sending up to the brain. Of course, when you're in a noisy situation and you don't have enough outer hair cells, your brain is trying to send information down to your ear to tell it to suppress the background noise, but your ear never receives the signal and never can suppress the noise. That, my friend, is why